guys, Marilla Steele here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel. Do not forget to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. So welcome to a brand new spend the day with me vlog. I'm heading to Brooklyn for a pop-up today doing some shopping with black owned businesses. I'm going to dinner later on with my girls but first I have an amazing partnership today with Monica Venatter. Hi guys editing Monroe here from the future just popping in to let you all know the proper pronunciation for Monica Venator. That again is Monica Venator. All right guys, back to the video. Thanks so much to Monica Venator for sponsoring today's videos. If you have never heard of her and her amazing jewelry, let me break it down for you. Monica Venata has some amazing quality, sustainable jewelry that's, if you're really into minimal, dainty, yet packs a big punch jewelry, you will love their pieces. They carry 100% recycled gold vermeil. You all know how I feel about vermeil. And 100% recycled sterling silver. They also have a five year warranty and a lifetime repair service for their pieces. They have ethical diamonds and they are responsible jewelry council certified. And I actually really love that their jewelry is 100% recycled like gold and silver. I think they're really championing sustainability. They also have recyclable packaging and they have eliminated single use plastic for all of their pieces, which is amazing. And speaking of you guys, the, it's the packaging for me. The packaging is absolutely stunning. All of your pieces come in a beautiful box. It's a beautiful burgundy color with this really easy to use pull out tab. And then this beautiful royal blue packaging that your pieces come in. So I'm really excited that they sent me over three amazing pieces from their collection and I'm gonna get into them for you all. Everything is linked down below so definitely check them out if you're interested in any of these pieces. So first up we have the Nura Reef Bangle and it is 18 gold plated vermeil. And I absolutely love it. Like, look at that irregular shape. It is very thin. It is perfect for stacking. It is just stunning. Absolutely stunning. This comes in three sizes, small, medium, and large. And it also comes in three finishes, which is rose gold, silver, and gold. This one is the gold one, and I love it. This is also handmade. And again, it does come with that five-year warranty, and it's made from recycled gold and silver. And the price point on this is amazing. Definitely one of my new favorite bangles to actually stack with other bangles in my collection. And it's just so dainty. Like look how minimal and dainty it is. Yet it has just that really cool irregular shape which makes it that much better. Next up, we have the Groove T-Bar necklace that I'm currently wearing. Again, this is also 18 gold vermeil and it is absolutely stunning. It's so dainty and so beautiful and the detailing is just impeccable. Again, this comes in a gold finish. It also comes in silver finish and also Monica Venatter also has a ton of charms cool different charms from like pearls to just really cool pieces that you can actually add to the necklaces which i really love that way you can personalize the necklace for you or for someone else if it's a gift i also love that you can wear this backwards as well so if you're wearing like a low cut back or a nice dress for a date night out and it's a low cut back you can turn this around and wear it the other way just to give it a little edge and last but not least they sent over the dia chamfered hoops which i absolutely am just i'm loving you guys know i normally wear big oversized hoops especially when, when my hair is slicked down and like a low bun but now that i'm rocking like this huge ponytail i just need something a little more understated and minimal yet very chic to go with this hair and these fit the bill. Again, these are 18 gold vermeil. Again, these are made from recycled gold and silver. They're just stunning and Dia actually means goddess, I believe. So, I mean, <laughs> they're fitting. 
just kidding guys but again special thanks to monica venata for sending over all of these stunning pieces i have linked these down below along with a few of my favorites from their website so definitely head on there down to those links and check it out and special thanks to monica venata again for sponsoring this portion of the video all right guys so let me show you the rest of my outfit of the day because i'm dressed and ready to go we're gonna head to a pop-up in brooklyn that is supporting black owned businesses there's tons of them there including from the archive which is the tea that i'm wearing they've been holding pop-ups every now and then in brooklyn and so i wanted to go out and show my support i also wanted to stop by sincerely tommy which is another black owned business i've been wanting to go to this store forever and so now i have a really good reason to head out to brooklyn and check it out so let me show you my outfit of the day All right guys, so I already got into the jewelry that I'm wearing. The lip is Fenty Unveil. I am rocking my From the Archive Ladies First tee. It's one of my favorite tees. They're like vintage tees. They feel super soft and I wear them all the time. Y'all know because y'all be seeing them in videos. But I'm heading to their pop-up today. I paired this top with a and Other Stories leather mini skirt. It's a high-waisted mini skirt. It definitely gives me like 80s vibes. They actually still have this in stock, I believe. So I will link it down below. It really does snatch in your waist and give you a very nice hourglass figure, even if you don't have one i know for the shoes i went with my gucci platform slides they're in this beautiful brown with like gold lettering they don't make it in these colors anymore but they do have them in blue denim and their regular neutral color so i will link those down below you can definitely size down half a size in these so that is today's outfit of the day i'm gonna grab a bag pack a few things inside and go ahead and call my uber so that we can head to brooklyn so let's go all right guys for today's bag we are going with this brandon blackwood denim bag it's my newest and i absolutely love this bag it, this is a black owned business by the way and this is the medium in denim i'll link it down below you guys can definitely check him out it just goes with today's vibes i'm gonna pop in my chanel compact mirror definitely gonna need that chanel hand cream gonna need that too and my hand sanitizer of course i'm also gonna pick a scent what should i go with today y'all i'm feeling bald that freak or tay noir i think we're gonna go with tay noir which is from Lalabo. it has a really cool scent that i can't quite explain but i love it Right, guys call my uber it's gonna cost me an astronomical amount but my uber is here literally they came in one minute so let's go i'm gonna grab me something to eat because i'm starving so grabbing one of these go go squeeze apple sauces that Rio michelle put me onto they do have the organic version as well but yeah i'm a big kid so let's get you off the tripod and let's go
Right, guys just getting back from Brooklyn it was beautiful I had such an amazing time so it seems like every weekend or not every weekend I'm not really sure of the schedule but it's called like black bed style almost like black wall street where we are all just giving money back to the black community the streets were lined with black owned businesses as well as like vendors that come and sell their things and so my friends from from the archive brand which is a brand i wear a lot of i love their t-shirts they were out there today and this is the first time i actually had a chance to go to one of their pop-ups because i have pretty much been in miami since they started doing this and i also finally got to go into sincerely tommy they have a really cool coffee shop in there as well and i got a delicious chai tea latte with oat milk y'all know how i feel about oat milk they have some really cool shoes in there i wish they would have had them in my size i love those flat toe sandals they had them in like white and green and they have some really cool clothing as well definitely i got a few things from from the archive y'all know i wear these shirts to death <laughs> i feel like they're just so easy to wear and to style so I'll show you what I got from them. I also kind of walked around, checked everything out. It just felt like, uh, 
it felt like a family reunion out there to be honest like the dj was going playing all of the oldies playing all of the hits there was some kids out there doing double dutch there is i guess it's a jamaican restaurant i think it's called the brew i'm not exactly sure like on the corner they were outside making delicious jerk chicken jerk salmon of course i had to get some y'all i also got some macaroni y'all know i'm not supposed to be eating cheese but it's delicious it was so so good i'll show you a few things that i bought i bought a candle and then i'll show you guys what i got from from the archive but i need some water it's about six o'clock and i got so many compliments on my necklace too so i had to tell everybody about monica van natter thank you girl so let me get myself a drink and then i'm going to show you guys what i got from the pop-up All right, my bag was a hit as well. It was a hit, y'all. Everybody was feeling it. Okay, so I got a candle from a black owned business called Scent Box Candle Studio. And they were inside one of the stores. This is their card. And literally all of the scents smelled so delicious. The person who owns this business, her name is Kat. Kiera Freeman and you can find her at scent box candle studio everything spelled out on Instagram she hand makes these candles and I smelled all of them this is the small size which was $15 but this is cigars and rosé y'all it smells so good like I can't even oh, it smells so good I wish this came in perfume because I would wear it girl I would wear it. If you're into homemade candles, you wanna support a black owned business, definitely check them out. I'll link them down below in the description box. Definitely try the cigars and rose. Like, it smells like a very well-dressed man. Like, it smells amazing. And look how beautiful this little tin is. This is a small size, by the way. They do have bigger sizes as well. The small is $15, the big ones are 25 I believe very happy about this probably gonna light this tomorrow oh amazing I also got three new shirts from my friends over at from the archive you guys know I have this ladies first tee I love this top the other one I wear is the misguided one I wear that one all the time. I love the colors in that one because they're so easy to pair with other things. Literally, but I don't really feel like dressing up, but I want to look kind of edgy like I tried. I just throw on one of these t-shirts and a bottom, maybe a pair of jeans, maybe a skirt, a cute little shoe and a bag, and bada boom, bada bing, it's a look. Okay, so they came out with three new designs. They're always coming out with new designs. They first started with this one and the misguided one, and then they started adding more. So I got this one which is the tribe called quest shirt and i love the colors in this one with the red and the green and the black very cute by the way i get all of my shirts from them in a size medium and then i got this one this is one of their newer designs as well with lil kim we all love lil kim like yes so this one is their Kimberly Jones tee, and I love the colors in this one too. The purples, kind of the orange, the white. I can definitely do some really cool, like laid back model off duty looks with this for sure. And last but not least, I just want y'all to know that I'm the person who told them that they need to make this tee so that I can buy it because I've been waiting for somebody to do, to do something like this. I'm the inspiration. I want y'all to know. This is the one y'all need to go buy. It's the Il Nana. <laughs> it's the Il Nana for me. Foxy. Foxy Brown, y'all. I love that. The Il Nana. <laughs> Foxy Brown. I love all of these colors. Ugh so good and these are very very soft they wear very well you can wash them 100 million times they're just gonna like get more vintage looking every time you wash them but like very good quality tees i love them all 
can't wait to wear this one this one is definitely my favorite i'm loving that lime green in it uh i feel like i have some lime green shoes don't i or a bag i got a lime green something y'all i'm gonna make it happen so those are the three new tees i got in they also have some other other designs as well i think they have a michael jackson tee definitely check out from the archive i will link them down below you can check them out y'all know i love these shirts so now it is 6 10. i am meeting my girl spicy mayo miss yamina mayo for dinner her birthday is tomorrow and i think her friend's birthday is tomorrow so we're all meeting up for dinner tonight at the dante now look when i went to lunch or when i went to dinner with karen a few weeks ago not even a few weeks ago but in y'all's time a few weeks ago we went to the dutch not the dante i had never been to the dante y'all i didn't even know there was a restaurant called the dante that's also in the west village i think me and karen had dinner we went to the dutch and i love that place it was delicious but yamina is saying the dante is a one she said the cocktails are delicious she said she's gonna dress up put on a nice dress look real cute we're gonna go we're gonna have dinner we're gonna have drinks and who knows who knows what we gonna get into y'all so i think i have a cute little dress i'm gonna wear tonight that i haven't worn before i saw one of my favorite people that i follow on instagram with this dress and i went right and i bought this dress it's one of those like instagram shops i'll put it down in the, in the description box as well but i actually did wear this once on instagram just when i tried it on and so many people asked about it so i'm definitely gonna link it down below in case you want to check it out so i'm just gonna touch up my makeup I mean, it isn't that bad. I've been using this Laura Mercier Pore Perfecting Primer before I put on my makeup. And it works, y'all, cause like, it's hot. And I feel like half of my makeup should be down, down my chin by now, but it's not. I got a lot of compliments on my ponytail too. I gotta start selling these. Like, let me know if y'all want me to sell them or if y'all just wanna make them yourselves. Because it's a moment. Okay, I'll check in with you guys soon. But if you're enjoying the video thus far, please do give girl a thumbs up, subscribe, and click the notification bell so that you never miss a video. All right, I'll be back.
myself together, just refresh my makeup a bit with the Laura Mercier Medium Deep Powder. Threw on a little bit more blush, which is my NARS Wanted 2 palette. Refresh my lip, which is Fenty Unveil. And that's pretty much it. I'm keeping on my Monica Venatter jewelry, the necklace, and the earrings. I really like how minimalistic yet making a statement they look with this look so i am meeting my girls for dinner and drinks at the dante down in west village in new york city and so it's a birthday y'all so they told me to put on my best so i put on this dress and i actually got this dress from i think it's like an instagram boutique and what i love about it is that it's reversible you can wear this side in the front or you can wear this side in the front. I actually think I prefer the green, but I have a moment waiting for that. For the shoes, I went with my Bottega mesh pumps. I think it fits in well with the little mesh that it has here. I think I'm gonna carry my black Gucci bag with the bamboo handle, and that's gonna be my outfit of the night. I have about 20 minutes before I really need to call my Uber and head downtown, but I just wanted to show you guys the look. I am wearing a size medium in this dress, and it is fantastic. I will link this down below and you guys can check it out. All right guys, so I just need to transfer everything that was in this bag earlier into my Gucci bag. I've linked this down below. If you wanna see more of my bags, I have a bag, a summer bag video coming up. It might be live before this video, so definitely check that out if you want to know more about my bags and links to all of them. So just gonna take everything out of my Brandon Blacklit bag. I have a mask, I have my keys, I have my headphones, I have my phone. I need to take my mirror out of here because I need to reapply my lipstick probably after I wear my mask. I always carry a little kabuki brush for shine because I just tend to get very shiny in my T-zone no matter how much powder, how much finishing spray I use. It just never is quite enough. Of course, transferring over my hand sanitizer and where's my mirror? All right, and my mirror. All right.
Alright guys, so just got home from a wonderful girls night out celebrating my girl Jess and my girl Yamina Mayo on their birthdays. Their birthdays are actually today. It is now after 12, so it is July 12th, so it's, it's their birthday. And we went to Dante's, New York City. It is on McDougal Street in New York City. It was amazing. They're actually really known for their cocktails, which were just lovely. I actually got the like frothy mojito and it was delicious. We had a wonderful dinner. I would definitely recommend the pasta with the wild boar meat and really any of their like appetizers will do we got the iceberg salad and one of the flatbreads everything was delicious and the ambiance was really cool if you can definitely sit inside but we just had a wonderful night just catching up yamina is also a content creator and jess works for gucci so we just had a wonderful time talking about brands talking about life just just got married so we talked about that and it's always just a great time when you have a girls night out I know some of you are gonna ask about this dress I'm definitely gonna link this down below but it's after midnight which means it's after my bedtime y'all cuz I usually go to bed at like 10 like super early I'm just gonna unpack my bag do my skincare routine, probably hop in the shower and then head to bed for the night. But special thanks to Monica Venatter for sponsoring a portion of today's video. Like I've been wearing her jewelry all day today from the time I went to Black bed in Brooklyn to check out black owned businesses to my girls night out and everything just held up so well. Everything went with every outfit. So if you're looking for amazing quality, su sustainable jewelry, very minimalistic and just very lovely, definitely check out Monica Venatter. I will link them down below. I will link everything that I got from them down below and you guys should definitely check them out. All right, so I'm gonna turn in for the night and I will definitely see you guys in the next vlog. If you enjoyed today's video, please do give your girl a thumbs up, subscribe, and click the notification bell so that you never miss a video. There are tons more vlogs coming up for you guys as well as some hauls too. I know you guys wanna see an updated jewelry collection, so that is definitely in the pipeline for me to do for you all. Remember everything you've seen in today's video from my outfits to my jewelry to the places I've gone today are linked down below or I've given information for you all down below. So if you're in the New York area, you can definitely check out these brands, check out these events, check out these things, these restaurants as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.